Welcome back to the Midnight Who Show, and tonight I'm going to be reviewing the ninth episode of the final season of The Flash. It's my party, and I'll die if I want to. I have been eagerly waiting for this story. It took eight episodes of very mixed quality to get here, but it was well worth it. And I will be doing a full review of the final season when it does conclude next month, so look forward to that. But yes, after weeks of just a little bit of a disappointment with the show, because it's the final season, this delivered. It was that grand crossover feel that we have missed in the Arrowverse. Stephen Amell is back as the Green Arrow, and we even get appearances from John Diggle and Kid Flash. Now this episode involves the 30th birthday party of Barry Allen being interrupted by blood work, Ramsey Russo. And of course, he is here to use Wally West, who can kind of connect to the multiverse now, to share his blood virus with the entire multiverse to, you know, get rid of death. Bloodwork is my favorite villain of the more later half of The Flash. He's just so sinister, and the actor they got to play him is just great. And Eric Wallace had at least one good villain under their era. And this is what has been missing from this final season, I feel. Like, just a grand feel to it. And it also made me remember all the great crossovers that we've had in the Arrowverse in the past, especially in that scene between Barry and Oliver at the bar just having a drink. That was great. And I really liked that question that Barry asked him, you know? It's just so good. And I really like the little joke. How many you know, things have you stopped? 170? No, it's 180. Great little meta reference there. Speaking of meta reference, that little scene where he was in the TV set for The Flash, that was hilarious. Now, Wally West has gone through a very spiritual journey in the show ever since he got his powers. And I really enjoyed how he was easily to be manipulated through his past and how Barry is never kind of respecting him as a hero in a way. And I really enjoyed that darkness that was inside of him and how he has to overcome that too. And I gotta tell you, in all these years, he still has the same suit. It would have been really cool to see if it was actually updated eventually, but nah. He only comes back every few years, I guess. But yeah, still, great episode. I really enjoyed this. You know, I'm just so glad they brought back Stephen Amell to play the Green Arrow. And I really enjoyed seeing the more Spectre side of him now. And I really just enjoyed how he can now take his disease that Bloodwork has away and make him human, which is probably the biggest punishment you could ever give to him. He now has to live his days like a normal human. That's going to hurt probably for him. <laughs> But yeah, episode nine, fantastic. Where has this writing been for this final season? I really hope that the final episodes deliver as much as this one did. And I gotta tell you, I'm just glad we got one more episode featuring the wonderful dynamic between the Green Arrow and the Flash. This is so good. And of course, you know, it has the little wonkiness in the CGI, of course, but you can overlook that when you're just having a absolute blast watching a story. So overall, episode nine, fantastic. So glad they did this episode. And I'm excited to see what the next four episodes, and hopefully they are good and deliver a quality, a satisfying ending to nine years of The Flash. So what did you think of this episode? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next video, which will not be next week because I'm going to be taking a little week break. But I'll be back after that with a review of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Bye, everyone.